Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Today our topic is the 11th infallible, the 10th Imam. Imam Muhammad al Jawad or at Taki is the 9th apostolic Imam. His epithet was Abu Jafar and his famous titles were al Jawad and al Taki. Since Imam Muhammad al Bakr, the 5th Imam, was called Abu Jafar. Historians have mentioned this Imam as Abu Jafar the second. Childhood Imam Muhammad al Jawad was brought up by his holy father Imam Ali al Riza for four years under the force of circumstances Imam Ali al Riza had to migrate from Medina to Khorasan, leaving his young son behind him. The Imam was fully aware of the treacherous character of the ruling king and was sure that, a, that he would return to Medina no more. So before his departure from Medina, he declared his son Muhammad al-Jawad as his successor and imparted to him all his stores of divine knowledge and spiritual genius. Imamat Imam Ali al Raza was poisoned on 17 Safar 203 AH and with effect from the same date, Imam Muhammad al Jawad was commissioned by Allah to hold the responsibility of Imamat. At the tender age of 8, there was no apparent chance or means of the young Imam reaching great heights of knowledge and practical achievements. But after a few days, he is known not only to have debated with his contemporary scholars on subjects pertaining to fiqh, means Islamic jur jurisprudence, hadith, tradition, tafsir, means Quranic exegesis, etc., and outwitted them but also to exhort their admiration and acknowledgement his learning and superiority. Right from then, the world realized that he possessed divine knowledge and that the knowledge commanded by the holy Imam was not acquired but granted by Allah. Literary Attainments and Excellence The span of the life of Imam Muhammad al jawad was shorter than that of his predecessors as well as his successors. He became Imam at the age of 8 years and was poisoned at the age of 25 years. Yet his literary attainments were many and he commanded great respect and esteem the holy Imam al Jawad was the symbol of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alaihi wa sallam, affability and Imam Ali's attainments. His hereditary qualities comprised of gallantry, boldness, charity, learning, forgiveness and tolerance. The brightest and most outstanding faces of his nature and character were to show hospitality and courtesy to all without discrimination to help the needy to observe equality under all circumstances to live a simple life to help the orphans the poor and the homeless to impart learning to those interested in the acquisition of knowledge and guides the pupil to the right path. Migrate to Iraq for the consolidation of his empire. It was realized by Al Mamun, the Abbasid king, that it was necessary to win the sympathy and support of the Iranians, who had always been friendly to the Ahlul Bayt. Consequently, Al Mamun was forced from a political point of view to establish contacts with the tribe of Banu Fatima 
at the expense of the ties with Banu Abbas and thereby win the favor of Shias. Accordingly, he declared Imam Ali al-Raza as his hire when against the Imams will and got his sister Umm Habiba married to him. Al-Mamun expected that Imam Ali al-Raza would lend him the support in political affairs of the state. But when he discovered that the Imam was little interested in political matters and then the masses were more and more submitting themselves to him due to his spiritual greatness, he got him poisoned. Yet the exigency which directed him to nominate Imam Ali Salam al Riza as his hire and successor still continued. Hence he desired to marry his daughter Umul Fadl to Muhammad al Jawad, the son of Imam Ali al Riza salam, and with object in view, he summoned the Imam from Medina to Iraq. Death When after the death of Al-Mamun Al-Muttasim ascended the throne, he got an opportunity to persecute the Imam and to ventilate spite and malice against him. He summoned the Imam to Baghdad the Imam arrived at Baghdad on 9th Muharram 220 AH and Al Muttasim got him poisoned in the same year. He died on 29th Dil Qad 220 AH and was buried beside his grandfather Imam Musa Al Qasim, the seventh Imam, in Al Qasmiya, in the suburb of Baghdad, Iraq. In the last, we will be very thankful to you, we will be very grateful to you if you give us positive feedback about our topic. Thank you so much.